One of the biggest challenges in the classroom is keeping students engaged and interested in participating. Academic achievement in today's classroom compared to the classroom of yesterday is changing in a positive way thanks to technology. In grades K through 12, teachers are using an array of technology, including iPads, MacBook computers, and smartphones in their lessons. Copy, and what's the keyboard shortcut? We're fortunate that every classroom, at least in the elementary, has at least six um, desktop computers. We have several uh, Mac mobile carts. Uh, every grade level has iPads um, that they use, so we're very, very fortunate. According to Educators Technology and Mobile Learning, 75% of students ages 5 through 7 regularly use technology to play educational games. 50% of students ages 10 to 18 go online for homework help at least once a week. Currently, 44 states have turned to the Common Core educational system, a set of college and career ready standards for grades K through 12. Okay, let me type in my name now. With these educational standards, more teachers are turning to technology to generate an environment where students are better focused in learning. But if you're not using technology to enhance what you're already doing to what they already need, what they're already um, learning, then um, it kind of defeats the purpose of technology. Educators Technology and Mobile Learning also showed that students who study on mobile devices spend 40 minutes more per week studying than those who don't. Hands-on learning tools such as graphics, videos, and educational games allow the students to retain the information at a comfortable pace. What might work with a kindergartner may not work with a fifth grader. And so even if I might be teaching a certain skill, they need the best, then they need the best and most appropriate software or website out there for what they need. According to the PBS Learning Media really Survey, know. technology has helped 74% of elementary teachers by expanding content. 74% motivate students to learn, and 73% respond to a multitude of learning styles. Teachers recognize that moderation is best. Technology can become too engaging, risking less physical activity, and changing the way students think. These tools should help rather than substitute hands-on lessons. For Tiger TV, I'm McKenna Wilson.